first off, I like glass. I like the way it plays with light. So this piece combines the two. Uh, you know, the, the process of glass blowing and uh, with the end result of the vessels, um, I get to arrange them uh, in the cabinet and then with the lighting scheme, uh, you know, I can change the, the uh, brightness of, it, of the color. I mean, at a dinner, you know, it, it, nine times out of 10, there's wine, water, drink, there's some drink of some kind that is usually in uh, a bottle vessel. Uh, and it's central to any gathering uh, anywhere. And second to me, I just, I like the technical challenge uh, in the process of making uh, this vessel. Um, you know, it's, it's decorative and functional at the same time. I took a workshop at Corning Museum of Glass with an Australian artist, Clara Belfridge, and she, one of the things she taught was uh, surface treatment and the whole sandblasting and then um, hand buffing uh, with the loose grit. And I, I was just uh, in love with that, the finish uh, that it, it gave the piece. And so I did that to a few bottles and uh, it just leaves this really satiny, velvety uh, texture on the surface. And uh, so I did that to a few, and then I began to play with some lighting schemes. Uh, and that ultimately led to uh, building the, uh, the, the light box. For Cleveland, there, there's a strong glass scene uh, in this studio, private studio that I work out of, Superior Hot Glass. There are four other independent glass studios around the street. Uh, there's also a blacksmithing studio, a paper making studio, um, just to name a few. And I, it, it speaks to the diversity of, of the art scene here.